So Little Witch Academia episode 20 wraps up the Diana arc, which was a two-parter, which I could not be more thankful for, as Diana is my favorite character in Little Witch Academia. And I didn't do a review last week on episode 19. Well, technically I did, but the audio file got corrupted and I had no intention of re-recording it, so I just said kind of screw it, which isn't too bad because this is a two-parter, so it kind of all works together anyway, but that's why there was no review last week. And let me just say, this arc is the best content Little Witch Academia has had, not just from the TV series, but from the movies as well. This really just kind of captured why I love Diana, and her little kind of progression arc wraps up quite nicely before the series concludes, which has been a little saddening. We haven't seen enough Diana, in my opinion, in this series. We had a decent amount near the beginning, and then there was some kind of like subtlety of like, Maybe she's teaching Akko, maybe she has respect for Akko, which more or less she does, as Gix confirmed. Like, she actually looks at Akko as like, that she's just impressive. As soon as I think I know everything about this girl, she does something new to really impress me. So I like this arc really because not only is it Diana-focused, but it's a really interesting arc just overall. Diana has this evil aunt, pretty much, who's not just evil in the traditional sense. She's trying to keep the family business, the family's mansion afloat, but they really were in a time where magic is kind of obsolete, and all they really have is all these ancient artifacts that were passed down from all their different ancestors, and she's selling them for money so the mansion can thrive, but obviously she's doing it for the wrong intentions, whereas Diana has to ascend and become the head of the family. And I really like it because it's just really portrayed Diana is really doing everything for her family. She went to the school knowing that eventually she'll probably have to drop out. She had her own kind of desires and dreams, but she had her fill up the school and she was fine with becoming the head of the house, becoming the head of the family, and just kind of ascending to where she needs to be. And then I just really like Akko in this episode. Last episode, in episode 19, I found her to be very annoying. Just with how she's like, Diana has to come back. And I mean, I knew they were going to do something with it. Just I felt like how she was interacting with Diana was just like, you need to smack her across the face, all right? Because Diana has some shit going on here. But I really like seeing her in this episode and how Aku is kind of like this beacon for Diana where she's like, become the head and then also come back to school. Do both. Well, I can't do both. It's like, sure you can. I just love their little banter because... All along, Akko's looked at Diana as a rival, and Diana's just kind of looked at her as just this weird entity, someone who shouldn't be able to do all the things she does. She shouldn't be chosen by the shiny rod, but she has respect for her. And I like that it does get confirmed that she does have respect for this girl because she is so impressed with what she can do. And also just her, like, thanking Akko near the end, as heartwarming as can be. But it's really interesting how they end it, because I was under the impression that she would have to stay. Like, she would obviously... She would become the head, and then she wouldn't go back to the school, but Akko would be fine with it. She would somehow come to terms with it. But instead, because she decides to save her aunt and her cousins there, she doesn't have the time to ascend and finish the ritual, to which she sees the original head, like one of the nine witches who was the head of her family at the very beginning, smile at her and fade away. But that's actually a really important thing. Like, I can already see, like, I can tell some comments are going to be like, why didn't she just leave the evil bitches alone and, like, ascend to become the head of the... I was there. She wouldn't be able to be the head mistress of this entire organization, this entire like family, because what they were built on, the foundation of this family, is helping others, healing those. It's all about healing magic and being kind to one another. If she would have left her family, even though they have done wrongdoings, that would go against the nature of what the family was built on. She can't become the head with that. She needs to become the head at a appropriate time with nothing interfering and her not leaving anyone behind and I love the fact that they did this because some people are going to criticize this some people are going to say it was bullshit because she went back and saved Akko or she went back and saved the people who tried to screw her over which was her aunts as well as her cousin but the fact that she did that makes me really respect it because that's what she should do because we knew exactly what her family was built on healing magic and helping those who help you, and even if they don't help you, you still have to help them. So I love that Diana did that, and I think it's going to be really interesting to see how the final episodes wrap up. But I have to give very major compliments to the animation, especially when Akko is in rodent form and she's running across the vine and the snakes are coming. That animation was stellar. The way they framed it, like the art quality wasn't anything that spectacular, but the animation was so fluid and vibrant. It was just, the way they animated it was incredible. Like the snake's movements to Akko flipping and her transforming into different beasts there. It was absolutely engaging. I think the voice acting was really good. Diana was my favorite. I think her emotion and her range was very well done, just portrayed, and of course, Akko was good as well. I think the biggest thing is going to be, I'm going to see a lot of people say how it was stupid for her to save her aunt. Even though they are family, they were trying to basically screw her over and even kill her in some ways. 
But the fact that the family is built on the foundation of helping others, I'm perfectly fine with how they did this and I'm glad they went this route and it ended in a way I wasn't expecting because I thought they would go very typical route of she does become the head and maybe something keeps her away from the school but I'm glad she is going back to the school I'm glad to see where Akko and Diana's relationship has finally come it's where I've wanted to see it since episode one since the movies and I'm really excited to see what next week brings. But let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. Did you love the episode? Did you hate it? Or are you with me that this is your favorite content that any of the Little Witch Academia series has presented to you so far? So let me know your thoughts. And before you leave, smack that like button to show your support. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.